Welcome at tutorial number 70 of the EEP-10 and uh, Railroad X model railway simulator. I liked to do yet another tryout of our stepwise approach for the design of control circuits. And this time the Merklin number 68 layout is the subject of our design. You may know this layout, it has been the subject of previous videos number 52 and also 58 where it was in use with a manual control. Let's this time see if we can fully automate it. Alright, let's open up the layout over here in 2D view. This is how it looks like. Uh, uh, there's a depot for traffic from east to west going to station south. Then trains go up in this loop to station north, which is an end station, so the traffic turns around and goes back to station south, track 3, and from there we go back to the depot again. And the other way around, we have a depot from west to east, the trains go to station south, track 2, and they simply loop back to the depot. Well. Can we automate that with our stepwise approach? That's the question and let's have a look. Uh, the spreadsheet, we always start with the steps to list the from uh, to traffic and another step is to figure out if we need a random control and another step is to figure out if we need a single track control. Well, we can do that uh, all in one uh, when we try to figure out how the traffic flows. So let's start at the depot east-west, that's over here, depot east-west, four tracks combine into one track and there is an intermediate signal here, that's called the depot east-west out. And once a train leaves over here, we hit this uh, sensor, which tells that we can uh, random pull out a new train from the depot. Well, that's, 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 that's that. Then we go to station south track 1, which is over here, and once we are there, uh, then, oh, uh, I forget to mention that uh, we enter this station south 1 via a single track, that is this piece of single track, because also the trains going this way from south to the depot is making use of that same track, so we need a single track protection there. Okay, from station south we can go to station north, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now you may ask, uh, why do I not need a random in control there? Because usually we do. Well, this time we don't, because we have just four trains running around in that direction. And I have four tracks available, so I decided to simply allocate each train its own track and the junctions, we switch those simply by using the train in names. This also holds for the two depots, it's four tracks each and we have four trains, so we do not need a random in control for those, the junctions are simply switched by using the train names, these ones and these junctions over here. So that uh, uh, means we do not need a random in control. If we would have more than four trains, which is possible, then of course you also need to build those random in controls. But I like to keep it simple this time. Okay, so once the train is here at station north, uh, by the way, it makes use of a small piece of the east single track, and then all this, this, this part is the north single track. There's two-way traffic over here, so we need to protect that. That is depicted over here. Uh, well, the train reverses and it goes back from station north to an intermediate signal over here, that is the north out signal. And that signal, if the train, uh, uh, well, we, we have to use, of course, a pull out control for that. Uh, okay, from here we go to track 3, south 3, and there the train again changes direction and then it goes back via the east single track it goes back to the depot. So from south 3 we go to the depot in and from the depot in we go to the depot itself. Did we have a depot in? Well I think I eliminated that so actually this is one step. I could even uh, already 
tell that and we can simply delete this we do not need that step okay then the other way around we have depot west to east the trains go to an intermediate signal over there and if it leaves over there we pull out another train at a random so we need a random pull out from that intermediate signal we go to station south 2 and that goes via the east single track so we need to protect that then from south 2 we go immediately back up to the depot and uh, also this is not included anymore so we can delete that okay that makes it a bit simpler so uh, that goes via the west single track well this is all the traffic that we want to allow so we now figured out that we need three random out controls and we also need three single track protections and what i did is uh, make a detailed design of those oh, well why not just open it fully a detailed design uh, over here we see the three s uh, random out controls and the, the signals that we need that the train is available and here we see a uh, single track west there are only two small pillars needed the single track north well uh, also two just two pillars are needed but from north four uh, we have four possibilities to go uh, to have place a request so we need a four high pillar and then the east single track there are three pillars needed and uh, well that is the traffic to station north then from south to the depot or from the depot to south to that is the the traffic that runs uh, uh, continuously from depot to south to all right this is the detailed design and what i did is simply build that so let's have a look at uh, 3d view full screen and uh, let's go to the control circuits over here you see the layout it is smoothly running all full automated traffic and over here you see the small control for this west single track that goes over here and also in the other direction that's why there are two pillars over here you see the control for station north that is from this track going over here this loop to station north and back that is all protected by these two pillars and then we have here the protection the single track protection for the east side that is this single track here in the tunnel that has two-way traffic uh, partly from uh, for the the traffic that goes to the north station and then also for the traffic that goes to the depot and the other depot that comes down that's why there are three pillars and you can see in the spreadsheet which you can download uh, via the text that goes with this video also this whole layout uh, can be downloaded there and also the layout that has the manual control that is uh, still also included um, so the detailed design if you follow that you will see exactly uh, it's built exactly as designed then we have these three random out controls one is for the station north as you can see there are two trains available and then there are two empty tracks which is neatly depicted here two trains available is a green signal and two empty tracks are two red signals and then we have the depot uh, from west to east that is four empty tracks which is why these four signals are red and we have the depot from east to west and only the middle two tracks are available there's a train available that's why you see here two green lights that trains are ready to be pulled out okay so uh, let's have a look uh, why is there no train pulled out of the depot oh that is because there is obviously one still waiting here and I bet that is going to run into this station attack track 2 right now so we can have the front view and then we will yeah there is the train coming from the depot going to track 2 okay can we see what is happening uh, well at the north there is no request at this moment 
There is no train waiting here at South One to go to North. There is one on the way. And there are two trains waiting already. But uh, if they can only go if this train leaves. So this train leaves. Now there is a request, as you can see, for track one. That is this blue train. This request will uh, be honored right now. It just happened uh, as soon as this train left the single track. So you see it is all as simple as that. As long as the track is occupied, the control car goes straight forward. And if there is a request, one of these branch junctions is set. And as soon as the track is free, the control car, the, the mouse in this case, can go up into the branch and it will uh, go into that branch and take all the actions that are needed. Those actions are always to open up the signal, to set the track junctions in the right way and to take away the request and to close the track. So it's all quite straightforward and as you can see the control is, well it looks a bit complex but actually it's not, there's just three random outputs and three single track controls, not that complex and uh, as you can see it runs smoothly and without any problems. So just let's, let's just have a, a little look for a while at the South Bird's eye view and see what is happening just for fun. Okay, you see this train left track 2, so it pulled out, out of the depot another train that was already waiting at its intermediate signal. And now this train at south 1 will go to north because the single track is free now. Uh, yes, there it goes. You could ask why is there no train from north leaving at the moment. Well, that is impossible because track 3 is occupied the only if this train has left track 3 then one of the trains from north is pulled out which is which can happen uh, now because this train is allowed to leave unless a new train enters at track 2 first now that does not happen this train is leaving and you will see that one of these trains will now go probably Oh no, of course not. Uh, <laughs> it cannot because the single track is still occupied. Well, that means that there is already a request. Let's see if that is true. Yes, you can see over here there is already a request. The train on track 3 is going to leave. 1, 2, 3. That is this steam engine that is going to leave as soon as the single track is free. So let's just have a look if that really happens. Yes, this freight train is almost there. If the end of the train is, is here, then the steam train will leave. Almost there. Oh, it's slowing down. Yes, there are als also some speed sensors in the, uh, in the track, so that it looks a little bit more... Uh, uh, like real, yes, okay, the, the train is free the free track and the steam engine is now going. So that means that that, uh, that uh, request is now also reset, yes, as you can see. And the track is now occupied, as you can see. Okay, let's have a look at the control again. A, a train is entering station south one. That means that when it is there, this signal will be set. Uh, that is the request for a train. Want yeah, did you see that happen? That is the request for train wanting to go north. Well, it cannot because there's this steam engine still running there. So north track is still occupied. Let's have a look if we can see that steam train come out of this tunnel.
Uh, yes, there it comes. If we go back to our control view now, as soon as this uh, has entered track 3, then it will release the north track. So you can see that then this uh, branch will be touched and the train from track 1 will go. Or at least will be allowed to go. That should be now. Yes, it just happened. And you see, there it goes. So that all is quite straightforward. Alright, let's end this video over here. Thank you for watching and see you back in the next video which uh, of which the subject is not yet decided.